treated to a uh, pyrotechnic display from some fire machines on the far side of the pitch at the Stadium of Light. And now the two sets of players shake hands with each other next to the halfway line. This is Eddie Howe's first taste of the Tyne Weir derby, but Newcastle's manager knows what it means. Newcastle United, Dubravka in goal, Trippier the captain, Cher, Botman, Byrne, Longstaff, Bruno, Joa Linton, Almiron, Gordon and Isak. Two changes, Trippier and Almiron for Livermento and Miley on the bench. Carius, Dummett, Lascelles, Ritchie, Kraft, Paul, Livermento, Parkinson and Miley. It's Magpies against Mackhams. Black and white versus red and white. The first derby for eight years and they are a division apart so they don't enter it as equals but they do as bitter rivals and we are underway on BBC Radio Newcastle and NUFC TV in the third round of the FA Cup and Newcastle have the ball following the kickoff it's at the back with Sven Botman playing it to Fabian Scher Brings it towards the halfway line. A diagonal ball to switch the play to Anthony Gordon. He's got space over on that left wing. And Dan Byrne going on the outside. Gordon drifts in. Gives it to Joel Linton. Back to Gordon. Lifted across to Almiron. Trippier with him on the near side. Almiron gives it to Trippier. Who tries to win a corner. And does. Bruno in the six-yard box. Everyone else in black and white near the penalty spot. Outswinger from Trippier. Diving header clear from Bellingham. It's with Trippier again. It's a decent ball in. Patterson missed it. And it's gone out on the far side. And it is a throw for Newcastle. Goalkeeper came and did a lot. Great again. ball. It was a great ball. Keeper came, got nowhere near it. Corner was poor. Corner was too flat. Dan Byrne with a bit of skill and then a cross from the far side. Sunderland haven't cleared it. Newcastle on the attack in the second minute. Almiron to Trippier, header from Longstaff. Beaten away by the goalkeeper off his chest. And now Bellingham out to the left wing. Now Anthony Gordon back to Bruno, 30 yards out. No space for the shot and to play back to Trippier as Eddie Howe and Jason Tindall watch from the technical area. Newcastle then lose it. Trippier makes a challenge, Joel Linton gets it, and it's a free kick for Newcastle United for the challenge on Joel Linton after he nipped in to win the ball. Kieran Trippier looks like he fancies this one, and he does go for it, it takes a deflection off the wall, and Patterson makes a comfortable save. Yeah, it was a long way out, wasn't it? Didn't get a great deal on it. Ricochets off the wall. Fabian Scher now at the edge of the penalty area, on to Trippier, takes a touch, gets away from him. Just kept it in for Longstaff in the corner. Now Bruno looking for Almiron, stopped by Sunderland. Trippier to Bruno again. Bruno Gimaraes in the area with the one hand ball. They're saying hand ball from the shot that was blocked, but the referee gives nothing. The Newcastle player back to Dubravka. It was only Isak who claimed, nobody else did for a pass to another black and white shirt. It's Joel Linton back to Bruno. They've worked it nicely. Longstaff available. They miss him out and come to Almiron. Trippier on the outside. Played in by Almiron. Trippier's cross. And then Longstaff over the top at the near side. Chance. Another chance. See, moved it quicker. Got the moving around Sunderland. Got it wide. Good ball played in. He makes a good run near post. Longstaff just can't keep it down. Lise over the halfway line. Clark in field away from Trippier, but drifting back towards halfway. Tackled by Almiron. Now he can play it through. Alexander Isak's been sent on his way into the area. Pulled down surely, Isak. Newcastle appeal to the referee, who says no. Who says no, and play goes on. Isak played in by the ball from Almiron. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Defender getting back to him. Never a penalty. Went down given no never a penalty do they need
need to play with. You need to be quicker. Yeah, more pace, greater intensity. Oh, Anthony Gordon played in by Dan Byrne into the penalty area. The cut back. Now it's come to oh, long stop and it's over the top left footed from the edge of the area. The third opportunity for long stop in the match and he's failed to hit the target. Well, that's another chance, isn't it? Big chance as well. Is there any threat in the Sunderland team that worries you in any way, based no. on what you've seen so far? I don't not at the moment. No, they're, they're well disciplined, but they, they're, they're not carrying a threat. Not at the moment. They're getting plenty of people behind the ball, but as I said, I think we're too slow on our build-up. We're letting them reset, giving them time to reset. We need to move it quicker. Everything's in front of them as well. The occasion we get in behind, Gordon makes the run, the ball. Need to do more of that. Need to get our wide men involved. There we go again. Joel Linton to Bruno. Back again. Joel Linton away down the left. Isak in the middle. Joel Linton looks for Isak. Oh, in. yes! It might be an oh, old goal. It's into the back of the net. And the Derby deadlock is broken by Newcastle United. Joel Linton combined with Bruno down the left wing. Put the cross into the six yard box. Looked for Isak. It ended up in the net. And 6,000 black and whites go wild. 35 minutes, it's Sunderland nil, Newcastle United won. Just what I said, we need to get in behind them more, down, get our wide men involved. Yet again, we get a ball in behind, Joe Linton gets on his bike, whips a ball in. Nightmare for a defender to try and defend. Gets something on it, puts it in the back of his own net. Well, just what they needed after a couple of opportunities and one or two moments where they did get in this time Joel Linton drifted out wide left on the left wing back to Gordon and Bruno now for Almiron in the box Almiron's gone for it with a scissor kick and it's wide of the far post from Almiron left footed at an angle in the penalty area it's a decent chance Botman into share. There is the half time whistle. And after 45 minutes of their first meeting in eight years, Newcastle have the advantage over Sunderland. Half time at the Stadium of Light. Sunderland nil, Newcastle United one. And Almoran's pinched it, edge of the area, played it back to Isak, who's put it into the net. And Newcastle at the start of the second half have doubled their advantage after a Sunderland mistake trying to play it out short from the back Almiron pinched it played it to Isak who finished and the Geordies run to the front of the north stand at the Stadium of Light to celebrate with the players it could be a crucial goal in the derby it's come 30 seconds into the second half it's Sunderland nil, Newcastle United 2 that's what you get for trying to play out from the back you want to take chances like that you get your pocket pinched Almiron you know what he's like, he's all over you like a rash he pinches it and then he does well just rolls it square and Isak knocks it into an empty net and Newcastle's bench let's say lose the ball actually to Equo who's had a try to Bravka with his first save of the afternoon with his legs ball took a big deflection on the way through and he had to get down to make the save it's an important one good save in, uh, unfamiliar position nice move Bruno back out wide to Almiron and Botman playing it through Anthony Gordon might be in Gordon just has it taken off him before he could get the shot off Bruno charges down the clearance throws his fists towards the Newcastle fans who enjoyed that but Anthony Gordon almost played in by a good ball just got away from him though yeah just got away from him slightly the Sunderland finding it really difficult it's the second time they've uh, faced each other in a duel this is Pritchard probably been Sunderland's best player and he's bent over the outside of the right boot that Dubravka's got down low Save. Good save. That is a good save. Great technique, wasn't it, Pritchard? It's a strong hand as well. 
stopped for Sunderland by Elise, then into the box and cleared by Cher. Oh, is a header back that he sacks and pinched. Can he find a black and white shirt? He might be able to get Gordon away. Anthony Gordon left side into the penalty area. Almiron with him. Gordon down penalty. in the box. Penalty to Newcastle United. Gordon fouled by Ballard, who gets a yellow card. It's a penalty and a chance to wrap it all up. The away fans behind the goal against Anthony Patterson from the penalty spot into the bottom corner and scores and finishes with such ease and composure and runs to the away fans and then the Sunderland supporters cupping his ears jumps and punches the air surrounded by black and white shirts they are going through to the fourth round of the FA Cup they are going to win a first derby since August 2011 no doubt about it Isak from the penalty spot Sunderland nil Newcastle United 3